I'm pansexual and non-binary. How old are you? Ten and a half. You're ten and a half? Yeah. <laughs> She's pretty confident. And, you'll, and you're pansexual? Yes. You'll go to bed with anyone? Yes. <laughs> Not yet. When I was a kid, you could be gay or you could be straight. But it's a new day. At the LA Pride Parade, I tried to hold my own with the youth. What letter are you? Uh, Q. Oh, Q. But Q. which Q is it? Because sometimes Q is queer, sometimes it's questioning which Oh, queer. Queer. Yes, oh. so queer. Well, that's very vague. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm pansexual. I'm pansexual. Why aren't you on the pansexual bandwagon? Why are you calling yourself bi? I think bisexual is sexier. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the panphobia in this corner it's is... Weird. I'm on the A spectrum, so it's like based more on personality than I. On the A spectrum. The autism spectrum? Oh, the A the spectrum. Yeah. Oh, the A sexual spectrum. Which letters are you? Uh, they, she. I identify as being gender fluid. Sometimes I feel more like a they, sometimes more like a she, sometimes more like a he. Explain yourself. I'm wearing a trans tape that I drew on. Oh, it yeah. goes all the way around. I thought yeah. it was just two little thingies. I've never seen this garment before. Thank you. The fashion isn't all that's changed. Pride was once an act of transgression. Now the water department shows up. How much did LA DWP spend on, on participation in this? Whatever it is, it's well worth it. Are you a heterosexual person? I am not. You don't know. You seem like a good heterosexual, are you? I'm bi. Oh, you're bi? Yeah. What about you? <laughs> we don't know her letters yet. Not yet. No. Okay. Are you hoping for out. any particular letters? Ooh, a they them would be great. Yeah, they, they, they them. Sure. Absolutely. Wow. What's so great about a they them? It shows that they're uh, fucking our current like society and like the structures. The yeah, yeah, exactly. You want your kids to be with it. What's your deal? What letters are you? Uh, I'm gay. You're a gay 11 year old. Are you a boy or a girl? I can't tell. Boy. What percentage of your class would you say is LGBTQ? 36%. What the hell's going on in that school? Some people just do it at my school to get attention, but I find it kind of annoying. Really? Because then they kind of take take it overboard and they're like, oh no, you misgendered me. Who does that? This girl named They act like really girly and they wear a lot of girly clothes and Oh, stuff. so they're, they're a they, but they're not acting like a they. Yeah. I think a they should be a they, don't you think? Cut your hair at least, right? Yeah. Yeah. You'd be a good they. Maybe. I'm so like I don't have like the same sexual attraction of like most other people, so it's not like the ooh I I want to like date them like sexually or like how, they don't have really that type of attraction for a lot of people until like I know them. Are you dating anyone at the moment? No. Or are you on any of the apps? God no. You are ace. You're living up to the ace. So far, <laughs> you're nailing it as a they and as an ace. You dating anyone? Yeah, I have my boyfriends. I'm actually engaged. Oh, Mazel He's tov. in the military. Okay, so both of you pansexual girls seem to have yes, identified yourselves some nice, did. solid, straight boyfriends. Yes, we did. Do any of your peers, does anyone think that some of this is, is a bit of a construct of the moment, as opposed to a sort of enduring truth that your generation has stumbled upon and articulated? I've never met any any peers my age that, that really question it. How often do you give your pronouns? Whenever I introduce myself, I'm like, oh yeah, like, I'm You didn't she. give me your pronouns. They Excuse she. Me. They she. <laughs> and what are yours? On a good day, I identify as a man. Okay. 